we purchase a DNTP set and that DNTP set has got deoxy ATP, deoxy CTP, deoxy DTP and deoxy GTP. So because there are four different nucleotides there, so we say this is a set. Okay. So there are four vials in there actually. Okay. Each of the vial contains different DNTPs and the concentration of these DNTPs in those vials is 100 millimolar. Okay. So it means the set has the DNTPs at a concentration of 100 millimolar each. Okay. So this is also 100 millimolar. This one is also 100 millimolar. And this one is also 100 millimolar. Okay. So now what we do is that. So these are about about say 500 microliter each okay so what we do is that we don't mix each and every one because we will not be using 2 ml of dntps we are just using one microliter per reaction so and these are you know high energy compounds and they tend to degrade over time by repeated freezing and thawing so we just take 25 microliter out of this, 25 out of this, 25 out of this, and 25 out of this. So, what is the total? The total is 100 microliter. So, this is what we prepare as the stock. This is our stock. Now, because when we mix 25 microliter of each and we get 100 microliter, so what it means is that we are diluting 25 microliter to 100. Okay, four times dilution. One, two, three, four four times dilution. So initially it is 100 millimolar, four time dilution, and we get 25 millimolar concentration of each. 25 millimolar concentration each. Is it clear? Is it okay? If it is clear, this is our stock. Our stock is now 25 millimolar each. So, what we do, we dilute it further 10 times. What it means, this is 100 microliter, you know that this is. 100 microliter. We dilute it further 1 to 10. What it means? We take 10 microliter out of this, out of 100 microliter, and we add 90 microliter H2O which is double distal sterile, high quality water, okay? So, what is this dilution? One plus nine, it's one tenth dilution, okay? So, when it is ten, one tenth dilution, the concentration of each nucleotide is 25 millimolar and we are diluting it 10 times. So, it is 2.5 millimolar each. Okay. Is it all right? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. 
Okay. So it means that 10 plus 90, 10 times dilution. So from 25 to 2.5 millimolar each. Okay. And we use one microliter of 25, 2.5 millimolar. We take from here one microliter. Okay. Per 25 microliter PCR reaction. So from the 2.5 millimolar solution, so it gets now a dilution of 1 to 25. And we get the final concentration in micromolars. So what is 2.5 and divide by 25? So what is now the answer? 0.1. That is 100 micromolar. So it will be 100 micromolar. One microgram per microliter. So you have a stock now. And how you will go to 25 nanograms? From 1000 nanogram per microliter, how we can get 25 nanogram per microliter? It's so simple. It's very, very simple. Okay. What you do is that you take 1000 on the top and then you write 25 here. Okay. And divide that. So, is equal to 40. What it means? It means if you dilute this stock, which is having 1000 nanogram per microliter, 40 times the concentration will be equal to 25 nanogram per microliter. Isn't that easy? 